far, we've bisected a line segment and a 60 degree angle. So today, let's switch it up and let's bisect a 90 degree or a right angle. How would we do that? What would we use? And what would it look like? Let's take a look. Keep in mind that bisect means to divide into two parts that are both equal. Now, in order to bisect a 90 degree angle, let's start by drawing a 90 degree angle. Let's start by making a horizontal ring. We can make a point at the start of our ray and label it. Let's label it as R. In order to draw this angle, we can use a compass. Now, you can take any measurement on your compass. I'm using a measurement of around three inches. Placing the leg of the compass on point R, make an arc. As you can see, this arc intersects this horizontal ray at a point. Let's label this point as S. Now, let's take our compass again. It's extremely important to make sure that the compass is at the same measurement as it was before. Placing the leg of the compass on point S, make an arc that intersects this one. These two arcs intersect or cross at a point. Let's label this point as T. Again, taking the compass with the same measurement, place the leg of the compass on point T and make another arc. Again, let's label this point. We can label it as U. Using the compass, place the leg of the compass on point T and make another arc. Then, placing the leg on point U, make another arc. Finally, as these two arcs intersect at a point, we can label it as point Q. Last of all, to construct our 90 degree angle, make a ray that goes from R to Q and extends. This gives us angle QRS, which is a 90 degree angle. We can write it like this or by using this angle symbol. Now that we've constructed a 90 degree angle, let's bisect it. In order to bisect an angle, we're gonna use a compass. To do so, place the leg of the compass on point S and make an arc.
Next, we can make a point here where this arc intersects this ray. We labeled this point as V and we can place the leg of the compass on V and make an other arc that intersects this one. This gives us another point, which we can label as P. Finally, to bisect our angle, we can make a ray from R to P that extends. So we have bisected this 90 degree or right angle into two 45 degree angles. Let's label these angles. We have angle QRP. which we can write using this angle symbol. And we have angle PRS. Which we can also write using this symbol. So we have constructed a 90 degree angle, angle Q, R, S, and bisected it into two 45 degree angles. Angle Q, R, P, and angle P, R, S.